So before we get started, I want to share a little bit about my journey and what um, energetic journaling means to me. Um, I am a attuned Reiki master. Um, I am finishing up a certification right now. Um, and I've been practicing energy work as well as like different forms of spell work and um, manifestation work for almost, I would say, in since 2019 off and on. So um, it's something that I have studied a lot and I have practiced a lot. Um, and it's really something that has um, encouraged me in this um, journaling journey. So when talking about the energetics of um, bringing something to fruition or even um, working through a, like an emotion or working through an event, something to that nature, um, the more you put into it, the more you get out of it. That's something that applies to a lot of things in life. Um, I also like to compare it to a recipe um, in that like if you just use three basic ingredients, I think that we can all agree that that would um, create something that tastes very basic. Um, it would not have any depth to it. It would not have um, you would not be able to sense the different layers and time and energy that went into the creation of the dish. It is the same with energetic journaling. Um, every single layer and every single thing that you put in that has intention, that is something that resonates with you, it is another thing that tethers that work to you, that tethers it to your intention for the work that you're doing, and that... Um, helps bring things into the world that you are trying to whether that's like I said you can use it as a way to work through certain emotions um I have used it to work through a lot of my spiritual journey and like bigger life questions that have happened over the course of the past couple years I've had a couple like existential crises that um, I've been going through and I know a lot of us have some collective trauma due to the pandemic that we've had to work through. Um, I have used it to work through visioning what it is that I want for the future of myself, of my business, for my family. Um, I have done work where I have um, set up protection. I've really been working on trying to set boundaries with people in my life. And so I have used energetic journaling to help me reinforce that idea. And um, it kind of helps to put those energetic boundaries up around me. Um, you know, there is this um, idea that energy, you know, everything in the universe is energy. Like you can... Um, like everything we do has that has an intention behind it has um, something that it's moving towards so when you're taking action like making a journal spread and taking extra steps to put extra intention into what you're making that adds more energy towards that um, and even if you know you don't believe in energy work or you don't believe in magic the it is the creation of something and the um added intention of it that um, helps to move you forward. It also helps to keep you in the mindset because ultimately the mindset helps to move you forward um, and it helps to move you towards what it is that you're trying to actualize. Um, I'm not trying to sell this as like a manifest a six-figure income dream world type thing. I think that that is a low-key form of spiritual bypassing because we can um, get caught up in this idea of success and like the end result when in all actuality, um, it is about the process and stepping into an identity of who we want to be. We want to be the person who is no longer frustrated from like the daily stressors that are weighing us down or that releases the stress that comes in from some of the things that um, we have to deal with in our day-to-day -day lives. We want to step into the identity of the person that we are trying to be, which is, you know, maybe you're trying to be someone who holds better boundaries. Maybe you're trying to be someone who owns their own business and confidently um, puts themselves out there so that you can make money and take care of yourself. 
These are all things that you can work towards through building pages in your journal. And the more you put into them, the more you will get out of it. Um, I think the biggest layers that go into it when you're building up your intention on your pages is your time, energy, and love. Um, you know, sometimes I have a low energy journaling day where I'm just like doodling or whatever, and that's enough. If, you know, I have a lot of chronic pain, that's totally fine. Your journal will meet you wherever you need it to. That being said, when we take the time to give ourselves and our journal and the things that we want for ourselves, the attention that they want and deserve, um, it helps to put us in that mindset and it helps to connect us to that intention. So I think that um, really just practicing a lot of grace with ourselves um, when it comes to finding a happy balance, but also taking the time and um, giving ourselves permission to spend time on this is really a big part of it. Um, and I think that that is along with like the foundation of the actual journal journaling practice, um, being something that is important to you, being something that you're comfortable working in. I think that um, giving yourself permission is something that will allow you to spend the time, energy on this, the time and energy on this, as well as to give it the love and attention that it deserves. So um, that's it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I know I covered a lot in that little rambling session. Um, and I know if you're not somebody who has studied some of this stuff, maybe that seems like a weird concept, but it really just has to do with journaling about what is on your mind and what's in your heart. So you really just have to like follow your intuition and do what feels good. And if you really connect with yourself, you'll get in that flow state and the rest will work itself out on the page. And I think that you guys will find that it's a lot easier to get into that headspace than you would initially think. Um, so with all of that said, um, we are going to do a couple of spreads together, um, starting from like the very, very base from blank pages. And then um, that's really going to be it. I'm gonna invite people to share and I hope that you guys find this introductory course helpful in adding more intention to your journaling practice.